The waters around the Diaoyutais are traditional fishing grounds of Taiwanese fishermen, serving also as a source of medicinal ingredients, a haven during storms, and a base for boat repair and salvage operations. Based on historical records, the Diaoyutai Islands were first discovered, named, and utilized by Chinese. The earliest Chinese historical record that lists the island under the name Diaoyutai is titled Seeing Off with a Favorable Tailwind, written in 1403 in the early Ming Dynasty. The island served as navigational markers en route from China to the Ryukyu Islands. In 1562, the Diaoyutais were included in Ming China's maritime defense system against Japanese pirates. In 1556, the Chinese record titled Chronicles of Japan notes that the Diaoyutais are islets belonging to Xiaodong or Minor East. Xiaodong was a name for Taiwan during the Ming Dynasty. In 1683, Qing Dynasty China's forces defeated the Taiwan-based regime established by the Ming Dynasty loyalist Zheng Chonggong. China's Qing government incorporated Taiwan and its appertaining islands into its territories. Since then, the Blackwater Trough, today's Okinawa Trough, which lies between the Diaoyutais and the Ryukyu Islands, has been recorded as the natural maritime boundary separating Qing China and the Ryukyu Kingdom. Qing-era documents recorded two instances of the Blackwater Trough, the first is situated in the Taiwan Strait, separating Xiamen from the Penghu Islands. The second runs between China's Chiwei Islet and the Ryukyu Kingdom's Kumejima. Successive editions of the Qing government's records of the imperial missions to Ryukyu describe the Blackwater Trough as a boundary between China and the foreign lands. Situated to the west of the Blackwater Trough, all of the Diaoyutais were therefore historically recognized as belonging to China. The successive records of the imperial missions to Ryukyu are among the most authoritative of Qing period official documents. In 1756, in a general record of the Ryukyu kingdom, Qing envoy Zhou Huang echoes the official records of earlier envoys, specifically stating that said trough constitutes the boundary dividing China from the outside world. In addition to their reports published in the records of the imperial missions to Ryukyu, Chinese envoys conveyed their sense of mission and outlook on the world in the form of poetry. For example, in 1808, envoy Qi Kun chronicled his trip to the Ryukyu Kingdom in Hundred Hymns in Eastern Waters, included in his poetry anthology, Eight Hymns of Sailing the Seas. In the poem titled Blackwater Seas, he writes, The vast ocean knew no boundary, so a trough has been drawn. In other poems, also titled Blackwater Seas, Deputy Envoy Fei Shi Zhang includes the notation boundary between China and foreign lands and crossing the Chinese boundary at the Blackwater Trough. Meanwhile, Imperial Mentor Pan Xiang from the Qing government's highest academic institute and well-versed in Ryukyu-related affairs, recorded in his treatise Records of Visiting Ryukyu and Scholars the Blackwater Trough is the boundary of Chinese and foreign waters. The Diaoyutai Islands are included in the 1871 recompiled General Gazetteer of Fujian. The islands are designated as under the jurisdiction of Taiwan's Kavalan sub-prefecture. At the time, the naval base at Mengjia was responsible for the defense of Kavalan, which in 1875 was renamed Ilan County. That the Diaoyutais were a part of China's territory during the Qing Dynasty was a well-known fact by China's neighboring countries, including Japan. More than two centuries ago, in a Japanese publication, the territories of China were colored red and yellow, whereas the Ryukyu Islands were in light brown. The Diaoyutai Islands, as well as Pengjia Island and Huaping Island, are colored red, the same color as the Chinese provinces of Fujian and Guangdong. Thus, it is clear from Japanese documents during the Tokugawa period that the Diaoyutai Islands were acknowledged as Chinese territory. In 1722, French missionary Antoine Gobille 
wrote a memoir based in part on mission records of Zhongshan by Chinese envoy Xu Baogua and conversations with Ryukyuan diplomats in Beijing. Gobil's memoir was published in 1758 in a collection of writings by Jesuit missionaries, which included the map titled Map from Taiwan's Jilong to the Ryukyu's Naha Harbor. On the map, the Chinese names of Diaoyutai, Huangwei, and Chuwei Islands are shown in French transliteration of Taiwanese. How did the Diaoyutai Islands, being Chinese territory, come to be referred by Japan as the Senkakus? In 1843, a British Navy ship sailed by the islands and observed rock formations that resembled pinnacles. The British captain dubbed the archipelago the Pinnacle Islands. In 1900, a Japanese geologist translated pinnacle into Japanese as Senkaku. Since then, Japanese records have adopted the term Senkaku Islands, thereby masking their original Chinese identity as the Diaoyutai Islands. This does not, however, alter the fact that the islands are territory of the Republic of China.